Yes, dear. Basil, you've got to help me handle this. She's in a frightful state. I can't get a word in edgeways. She's had 85 pounds taken from her room. I've said we'll search every wobble. She insists that we send for the police. What do you do with someone like that? It just keeps on. Mrs. Richards, how very nice to see you. Are you enjoying your stay? There's no need to shout. I have my hearing aid on. Oh. And Mrs. Richards, I've explained to my... I've husband. just been up to my room. 85 pounds has been taken from my bag, which I had hidden under the mattress. Oh, yes. It's a disgrace. I haven't been here a day. What sort of staff do you employ here? Mrs. Rich. If you knew anything at all about running a hotel, this sort of thing wouldn't happen. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I haven't got it turned up enough. Basil. I said oh! I should go! Has it come away? Oh. <laughs> Did you bang your head? Yes, yes. Oh, dear, let me have a look. You better go and lie down before something else happens. <laughs> Why don't you call the police? We will the moment we've searched the room. My money's been yes, taken. Yes, yes, I know. Try not to speak. Is this a piece of your brain? <laughs> 85 pounds. Take my arm. I don't need your arm, thank you. I can get down the stairs perfectly well by myself. Down the stairs? Oh, well, don't stop when you get to the basement. Keep straight on. Give my regards to the Earth's core. Are you sure you can manage? And if you give us any more trouble, I shall visit you in the small hours and put a bat up your nightdress. 